in this video I would like to show you how to do a fixed effects regression which is an econometric technique and we'll do it in R. Now what is the point of doing fixed effects? Fixed effects is an econometric technique that is able to control for uh, certain factors that are spread out through entities or through time. And let me give you an example. So in Europe, there's several different countries uh, in which there is some kind of disparity in the purchasing power uh, between the people that live, for instance, in Portugal, which is where I'm from, uh, versus, for instance, Switzerland, which is the richest country in the EU. And as a result, there is a difference in, let's say, elasticity. So people in Portugal would care far more about the prices and the discounts than the people in Switzerland. Now, if we are to study elasticity in these two countries, we would have to somehow control for it. And the way to control for it uh, is that we can use this uh, fixed effects. And what we need to do is that we need to tell our regression, which will be labeled our fixed effects regression, needs to take this into consideration. Now you can do more than one. So you can say it is different through the entities and as well through time, which is something that we'll do in this tutorial. And our case study is about guns and as well crime rate. So we'll try to study whether if people are allowed to carry a gun, if that actually leads to a decrease in the violent crime. So let's get started. And the first thing that we need to do is to get our own data set. As a comment, what we need to do is to get the data set. And this data set is within a particular library. So we need to do install.packages and then in quotes we do AER. So I already have it. So I'm going to leave this one as a comment. And I'm just going to do the command library and then AER. And here we go. So it has loaded. And now let's get the data set. So data open and then within we do guns. So this is the name of the data set. Here we go. So more than 1k observations and 13 variables. We have the year. So this will be one of the factors that we want to control for because there can be less uh, violence through time or more. And as well, the other one that we'll control for is the state. So these will be the two entities that we'll control for. Law, which is our main independent variable. So this is whether people are allowed to carry guns. This will be the variable that we really want to study. And as for our dependent variable, we could have opted in for violent murder or robbery. I'm going to go for violent because the goal of the study is to really understand if people are allowed to carry guns, if that actually decreases uh, the violence in a given state. So let's get through it. There's other uh, variables here like, you know, Caucasian, male population and as well income. Uh, we'll have a look at two more when we do the second model. So let's get through it. And so as a comment, doing a fixed effects regression. And this is quite, quite simple. We need as well a particular library. So install packages and then in quotes PLM. Again, I already have it. So I'm going to leave this one as a comment and just do library and then PLM. Again, control enter. And it is a mistake. So PLM and let's continue. Now let's call it model one. So we'll create two models because in econometrics is very good to have more than one model so that you can compare the coefficients of your first model with the remaining ones. And the way that this works is that we need to call a particular function, which is the function PLM. Let's do F1 to ask for help. And here we can increase. So panel data estimators. And we have here formula data. This is something that we definitely need to include. So let's start with that. So what is the formula? The formula is where we state the variables that we would like to include. And the way that I'm going to do so I'm going to do violent and then on law. And what I'll add here is that instead of just doing violent, because if we have a look at it, it is in his absolute form, the violent, which is violent per 100,000 inhabitants, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to transform the violent into its logarithm. And the difference is that when you do violent or any dependent variable in its logarithmic 
form, the way that you read the coefficients is in percentage. And this is actually far more intuitive and far more applicable. And let me give you an example. So let's say that I do some kind of commercial activity on my Udemy courses. Now, if I do some kind of newsletter, maybe I jump my sales for a given day by 10%. If Amazon does the same, so if they do a commercial activity, they send a newsletter, they also maybe increase their sales by 10%. The difference is that, you know, my 10% is maybe like 10 euros. And when Amazon does it, that's, you know, several million. So this is like the key idea. So that we're talking about the same action, but because the output has several different magnitudes, and the assumption is that violence throughout the states in the US also has several different magnitudes. It is relevant that we put the variable that we want to study and its coefficient in a percentage format. So that is what we want to do. And then as well, so the next one is the data. So what we want to do now is to include it. So data and then equals our guns. If you are to replicate this, you need to change, of course, the variables. And as well, of course, you may need to change the data structure. Now, next, what we want to do. So let's continue and have a look at the help section. And what we want to include now here is, for instance, the index. And this is an important one because it's here where we state which are the variables that are very important to control for. So index and then equals to, we start with C to combine because it's more than one. And then in quotes, we do state and then year. Next, what we want to do as well is to consider the model. And if you go here below, it should be something here on the model. So one of pulling within between random. And personally, I like to do within, which is basically to consider within the state and within the year. So control for this. And as well, within is really like the most general one to use. And if you are interested in knowing, you know, please have a look before using the other types of modeling because they are for specific purposes. And continue, so model and then in quotes within. And this is actually it. So if we do control enter, we see that it has run and we see our model one over here to have a look we do summary and then we just include our model one let's increase the size of the console and here we go so we see here our coefficients and which basically says that if we have a law that says that people are allowed to carry guns it actually increases and uh, the violence and we also see that it is very statistically significant at the 0 0.01 uh, percent level Continuing in econometrics, it's very good to not only do uh, one model, but to do more and really compare the impact of our estimate. So to see if this estimate that we have estimated is now similar when we create more models. And the key idea behind is that if you're trying to look the problem in several different ways, and you can consider a regression model as one way of looking at it, if you look through it through several different lenses, so several different models, and the result is always the same, then it is really likely that there is some causal inference behind this. So let's do, and then as a comment, so what we'll state here is that we will do the second uh, regression model. And the way to go at it is that the simplest way is to actually just copy paste what is above and let's see what we actually need to change. So instead of model one, we'll do model two and as well below. And then model is the same, index is the same, the data source is the same. And here we actually want to include more independent variables. And if you go to our data set, what we can include here is let's say include income. That's always a very relevant one. And as well, let's also include the male population. It is, I think, widely known that the more males, the more the violence. So male plus income. And let's just do control enter. And again, let's have a look. So let's increase the size of the console. Again, our law, yes. Now it actually became pretty insignificant. And when it came 
through the mail. You know, this one is very significant and as well income. This is something that it is not so relevant. So when you have a look at just, you know, this comparison through time and through the states of our law, so whether people can carry guns, we see that there is an impact. But actually, when you control for other factors, aside from state and year, and you have a look at the amount of males or the amount of income that people have, then it becomes pretty insignificant. And the conclusion here is that we should look at more than one factor when you're trying to study something, because maybe the root cause can be something else rather than what you're thinking first. I hope that you found this entertaining and that you learned something. Uh, if you're interested, please have a look at the Udemy courses that I have. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in another one. Until then, enjoy.